one thing why you want to be in jail or why we are here so really, beer it's part of the nutrition system it's not an alcoholic <laughs> drink as many beer here is the king i don't know it's cheap is good you have, you have like variety <laughs> Ciao guys and welcome back to Lempis. As you can see we are wearing our Tropica and I was actually just thinking and reminding Ali how long have we been here. Yes, we have been living in this country together for five years now. It's, It's a long time. It's longer than five years. Absolutely long. Wait, 2015, 2020? Yeah, but before that we have lived in Germany already. Yes. Okay. As, as living together as a couple. Yes, as a couple. Uh, okay, yes, absolutely. Okay. Today we really just wanted to come here and share with you all the beautiful things about Germany and reasons why we're still here. And it's eventually, I feel like it's now our second home. Yeah. Like I definitely. go home and I still miss home. You are you go back to your motherland and then after 10 days you feel okay, I should go back home like Germany, this little <laughs> apartment that we have. But it's where you spend most of your year, so it's just home. <laughs> Number one, social welfare is amazing. Spot on. Let's start with medical insurance. That's like my favorite. You don't contribute so much. And since we are family, it's like the contribution for one person is still already enough to cover that. Mm -hmm. It's a public medical insurance, but it's good. It covers pretty much everything. We are talking about a foreigner, like a Namibian and an Italian. So in comparison to what I would get in my country or in your country, this is way good. Really, really good. The social service really supports you from the moment you land here. Of course, if you are a EU member, you don't need any any visa or anything. But even if you come here and you have a job application, a visa application, a student application, really the system integrates you immediately in the German society. You know what I really love about living here? It's public transport. Of course, now we have car, but if I think about few years ago when we didn't have a car, the public transport is good. We used to live in a small village and every time we would go to Berlin whenever we want to, even up to today on days where I feel like we want to go have a dinner with friends in Berlin in the evening and have a drink. The public transport is just right behind our house. You get on there, you go and you come back and it works pretty much also during the night. Absolutely. Which is amazing. You don't need to drive near drinking. I, I just feel like that's for me the best thing. Like I would say weekends, I leave my car completely here at home and I go to Berlin, party or dinner or whatsoever, drink alcohol and still come back home by the public transport. It's yes. reliable. Another thing that we also really like, I think for me and for us as a young family, eventually maybe in the future, of course we want to have a family and the good thing here is the maternity leave. You have a year of paid maternity leave, which is I think is attractive for people who want to have family and who want to have children. This is mm -hmm. number one. Every time I think, especially at the stage now, two years after marriage and I'm thinking of moving somewhere else, the first thing is, maternity leave, how long is that going to be? And I have to compare that to my home country, yes. three months. To a year and then of course you have also a possibility to do three years of those to extend it to three years yeah but those are not going to be paid they're not going to be paid but still you can maintain your job position they cannot fire you in these three years so if you want to take three years off it's fine then you go back and your position is going to still to be there and it's amazing another thing is even the father can take maternity leave like i'm just saying imagine If I become a mother, I have a year at home and another two years if I want to, and my job is still safe. That is good. Yes. And you have also a year, and I think and that is. If you get bored, I can just we can exchange, you know. Which is we... good that they actually give parenting time also to a father, and it's one of the very few countries. Most countries don't have this, but there are a couple of countries. Mm -hmm. Germany is not the only one. There are a couple of countries. Yeah. Also in Europe so from what I know, basically uh, between mother and father, you can take around uh, uh, 12 months leave in the first uh, three years of the baby and then you can ask other 24 months between the third year and the eight years of the baby. Oh, the next thing, I mean it's still part of this welfare stuff. Mm -hmm. It's one of the things that, you know, this is like one thing that I don't like and at the same time I also like. Mm -hmm. 
road conditions are good so streets and roads are always in good condition i love that at the same time it's also my number one problem if you haven't seen that yet especially I'm leave the video up here the street conditions are very very good and you're allowed to drive unlimited super attractive for me because mm -hmm. i drive so many kilometers per day work related and also when you're doing road trips and stuff is amazing but at the same time my number one problem that nightmares when i come back home is of course all the traffic charges because maybe you're speeding you didn't park at the right place and all things like that that disturbs like another inconvenient about the, the good fact that the road are always in a good condition is uh, of course there it's a lot there are a lot of baustelle what is a baustelle is like just a construction site and uh, really often it happened that the, the 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 road even though supposed to be three lines is reduced to one and you you need to maybe drive 40 or 50. and another thing that i think i mean i love this, this is good mm -hmm. the, you know the the whole thing about recycling and uh trash collection and separation this is one of the things that i love and especially initially when i just moved here it was a shock to know it was actually weird because i didn't know about it before and i i left namibia when i was 25 i've never we have never really done waste separation apart from major things like maybe the glasses are kept separate but everything else usually just go in the same bin and dumped and you you know, you just land here, you get to your apartment, and the first thing you are taught about also in your integration course is like separate, be as a compost, everything that can be biodegradable go to the compost. Yeah, I mean, that nice. is one of the things that I like most about Germany. They do care about environment and sustainability, sustainability really a lot. It's taught in school, everybody is doing their little part uh, to try to, you know, to make it less heavy the fact that we are producing and consuming so much in our society so recycling is really a big part of uh, of german culture and mentality you know they have this respect for publics and i think that is showing also in the in these recycle things that they have so if you think about one of the Thing that we really like. I mean, of course, I think it's one of the main reasons why we're still here as foreigners. The job market is quite good mm -hmm. and it also really support foreigners. I have, I think about two years ago, made a video that was specific about job market in Germany and how to find a job easily if you're a foreigner. I'm also going to leave the link to that up here. I just remember it's been really a long time, With but it Chris was very, 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 very very i think it was very informative because we also have a native employer or somebody who is working who is is a german working in the german industry and also know the employment process in other countries in this video basically you just need to register to the job center and once you get registered there they are going to give you already all the offer that uh, really match your profile your job uh, research and if you have some problem with the language they can offer you free uh, language course to learn german they are going to even offer you some course advanced course to get your skill up to date uh, if you haven't been working in your uh, in your profession for a couple of years or if there are some rules uh, specific rules about your professor that you need to learn to job to to be integrated in the german jobs market that reason this is a huge difference for us i think the cost of living of course i would just want to narrow this down to the part of germany we live in east germany the cost of living in east germany is quite okay i would just it, it is okay if i also compare it to other cities like rome like if you're living maybe in Ost or like in in the schweiz other cities or if you're living in munich it will be Another st maybe would have been gone yes, to Namibia. Yes, I mean that is not, that is not really something about. We cannot talk about Germany is always is everywhere like that. We are talking about Berlin. Berlin in this in this moment, the quality, the, the cost of living is slow comparison to the salaries. It's actually quite affordable, and of course now we're working and maybe we can afford more. But I'm also thinking when we were students 
and we started in the east part not in berlin in particular we started in even in smaller towns like mm -hmm. way close to the poland border and that was still affordable we had a nice student life mm -hmm. and i would think that if we were living somewhere in munich for example ooh, city, the money they give you from the students stipend is not even enough to cover your uh, the like, cost like just your apartment or your mm -hmm. shared bedroom, mm -hmm. whatever you have as a living space, not even enough. But East Germany, it's it's actually a little bit weird because this scholarship gives you the same amount of money wherever you are. But here is way more than enough to live. Yes, and then on the other side is not even uh, barely. It's not even enough. Yeah, it's not even like, enough. Like literally everything you get from the scholarship is just paid enough. for the room, and then you don't have. So this is one reason why we're still here. Yeah, I mean, if I have to think about the cost of food in in Italy is uh, almost mm. uh, one third of uh, fifty percent more. I would say yeah, fifty percent more than German. Of course, the quality is also way better, to be honest. But yeah, but other things too that I think are way cheaper. While we're still talking about cost of living, in comparison to Italy, it's car insurance. Car insurance and also I would say car costs are cheaper. Okay. In terms of insurance and also gasoline, if I have to compare it to my oh, okay. motherland, if I have to compare it to Italy. Also because in Italy we have so much taxes on, uh, on the fuel that uh, basically the, 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 the cost of the fuel is 30% higher than in Germany. And, and on top of that also the insurance is, re is really higher. Like, I would say uh, probably two times more, three times yeah, more. And double, that is just partial. Double, double. double. <laughs> The very, oh, it's the second last point. This is or has been always important until the current situation. I mean, it has never been a problem to live here because we're always thinking, you know, Frankfurt, you can fly anytime to either side. We can go to Namibia, we can go to Italy. Mm -hmm. Also from Berlin, we can go to Namibia through Amsterdam. Or we can go to Italy anytime with Ryanair or easy. Absolutely. Connection, amazing. Also, several of our friends just flying maybe from Namibia through Frankfurt before they go somewhere. We can always meet up or through Berlin for a day before they go somewhere. Amazing. Now it's not the case, but I'm hoping exactly. still. Exactly. That's why I was thing. crying. <laughs> Hopefully we can go back to our routine like of travelers going around the, the globe. Bye. We are Bye. Oh. Bali. Bali, USA. We need to go to a USA. This last thing. Point is sustainability. Didn't we talk about that? Really? I didn't understand why because it's the point on its own here with uh -huh, okay. As far as sustainability and keeping the environment clean and stuff, I think they also try, especially with all the foreigner integration courses, to make sure that every foreigner also who wants to be integrated attend the courses and is taught about these things as mm -hmm. well. And and I think that is fair. I'm thinking about one of my favorite things, for example, when I think of environment and how Germans think about the environment, you know, like if they're going camping, mm -hmm. they want to make sure that most of the chemical, if not all, uh, depending on what is available, uh, soaps or shower gels or things like that, they are biodegradable and they're not chemicals that are going to accumulate in the ground and pollute the water and things like that. I just the thought that I, I, would ne I had never thought about that before I moved to Germany. The German have... The German mentality, the German population have this high respect of public. Whatever is pub is public is something that needs protected from from the whole community, and uh, is a value that uh, is respected. If, if they see somebody that is mistreating uh, something that is public, they they really get pissed. Uh, and uh, they really react in a way that uh, they, sh they, they show that there is a value of everybody. Everybody respect what is public and everybody is taking his own uh, uh, time to make sure that things look nice. For example, I'm thinking about public garden. Public garden, there are people like a uh, pensioner that uh, they go there and plant some something, some flower, just because they have time and they want to make the public park more beautiful. And I find this kind of mentality really, really good. One thing why you want to be in Germany or why we are here, sweetie, beer, it's part of the nutrition system. It's not an alcoholic <laughs> drink. So that is, if you are a beer lover... I mean, yes, okay. That is, I think, the only thing that is food related that I love about Germany. Beer here is the king. I don't know. It's cheap. 
is good you have, you have like variety <laughs> like i'm talking i'm talking about probably dozen of different kind of beer depending say, well, also depending which region you are at the moment yeah, exactly. so each region they have their own specialties uh, of course in the supermarket you can find almost everything but uh, there are some small producer that they only distribute locally so basically basically uh, each town has uh, their own brewery and their own traditional beer and that is one of the cultural things that you can experience only in Germany that is a huge part of the culture and on top of that beer is food so if you're hungry you want to get yourself some beer in this I'm gonna get myself some beer Ciao. no before you go please why are you always in a hurry anyway guys those are some of the reasons why we're still here and we love being here I would just say second home now yeah. for us being I don't know any other place and other than I know this place sustainability social welfare cost of living job market for us as foreigners of course what is good for me is also because i have degree every degree from here so it's mm -hmm. make it easier and yeah if you enjoyed this video please, please leave us a like subscribe right. and don't forget to hit the notification button below so you are always notified when we release a new video and now we have a little bit more time we're releasing three videos a week wow Ciao, ciao, ciao. Bye.